This is your Lolo Groovy and welcome to my channel. Our project for today is how to change the filter of the transmission cooler. Please subscribe to my channel and enjoy watching. Let's start by removing all the parts that's blocking the access to the transmission cooler. Remove the air duct. Next, remove the battery. For safety reasons, disconnect the negative cable first, then the positive cable. Lift the tray that holds the battery and set it aside. You need a 10mm and a 12mm socket to remove the bolts of the bracket that holds the battery. Let's start removing the 12mm bolts. And now the 10 mm bolts. You need a universal socket adapter to remove the 12 mm bolts under the bracket. You should remove the bigger bracket first and then get access to the bolt of the smaller bracket from the side. Remove the four 10mm bolts that holds the cover of the transmission cooler. Place a clean rag or paper towel under the transmission cooler to catch those fluid that is sitting inside the transmission cooler. Remove the old filter by hand. Surprisingly, not a lot of car owners know the existence of this filter. Now let's compare the new filter from the old one. Here you will see the difference. The old filter is really really dark in color and looks so dirty. Simply push the new filter into the housing. There must be a problem because I'm trying to push it in but it's only getting this far. If we install the cover you see that it won't fit and there's a gap, a big gap. So I decided to take a look at the old filter and I found out that the rubber seal is missing. Oh man, the rubber seal is still inside the housing.
So after removing that rubber seal, I can now push the filter all the way in. And now it's sitting perfectly fine. Remove the old o-ring and replace it with a new one. Install the transmission cooler cover and tighten the bolts to its specification using a crisscross pattern. Always change the transmission cooler filter every time you change the fluid of your CVT transmission. Doing this simple step will make your transmission last for a long, long time. Everything looks okay, and now all you need to do is install the parts in reverse sequence. And if you find this video helpful, please like, share, and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching, and God bless us all.